Cool. Michael, good to see you. Um, tell me, what your, your memories of Murrayfield? Are they, are, they, are they positive ones? I've played here many times. Um, obviously, the last outing here was a tough, tough old day at the office. Um, you know, particularly for the last 30 minutes of that game. Um, but uh, no, I mean, it's, a, it's an outstanding stadium. It's, um, you know, one of the places that we love playing when we come over here. It's such a unique, um, I guess, event in, in, a, in a few ways. And, um, you know, it's a cracking stadium, loud crowd and full crowd by, uh, um, what I'm, from what I'm hearing. So it's exciting. What have, you, what have you noticed differently of, of the Scottish side in your reviews? It's been a couple of years since you played them, so um, it's not like you can take it too much from the 2017, but, but perhaps there's a few things as well. Yeah, I mean, a quality, really quality team. Um, you know, they were, they were pretty clinical last week. They did some nice things with the ball. They've got good skill set across the park. You know, they've obviously got some, um, a fair bit of strike power coming in this week um, in the form of Russell and Hogg and... And those fellas. So um, look, we know that they've got a strong set piece and uh, backs who can uh, who can deliver plenty. So um, yeah, I mean, it's a it's a great start to our sort of European series. Yeah, Will Skelton, Curtly Field, Rory Arnold, a few guys you know well, particularly the, the former Tars guys. Um, what have they brought to the squad over the last few days? Oh, beside um, bringing up the weight and the age. Um, Look, they've brought a, a real level of experience. Um, I mean, it's it's no denying the punch that um, the two forwards bring up front. Um, so they've 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 taken to the um, to the new systems and structures really well um, in a short period of time. I mean, they've had such a a short uh, runway into this um, into this series or these three games. I've been really impressed with how they've gone. Um, Curtly, you know, ninety two caps. Um, you just can't buy that sort of experience. So to have someone there that can cover a lot of different positions um, comes in a really good time after a couple of injuries for us in the in the last few weeks. Um, and he's been raring to go. He's been so pumped to be back in the uh, the kit. And uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing them all out there tomorrow. And just um, on the on the coaches, Matt Taylor. We'll, we'll speak to him in a moment. But Dave um, Scott Johnson, uh, have you had you haven't had the captains run? But is there any thought that they might go to the wrong change rooms at all? Or? Um, and, and kind of any insights <laughs> that they've kind of given? God, wouldn't that be funny? Um, no, no, mate, they've been outstanding this week. Um, really, they're really prepping um, to give us the best possible, um, you know, look at what Scotland are going to bring. So that's from their own knowledge from being, you know, having coached a lot of these players up here and, um, you know, being around this environment. So there's, you know, that sort of hidden benefit for us. But um you know, I'm sure that the Scotland guys know that as well and, um, you know, uh, have, have come up with their certain plans. So, um, look, we won't read into into it too much. Uh, we'll stay focused. Hi, hi Michael. We, uh, the Scottish Press, we've spoken a lot about that 2017 game for obvious reasons. Um, I mean, is there a kind of feeling that there's something that you need to kind of put right there or, you know, a score to settle? from an Australian perspective? Oh, we want to win. Um, uh, you know, uh, we, want to, we want to continue growing as a team and we want to start our um, European uh, three games, European leg off to a really um, good start. And we know that um, Scotland are a really quality team. We've got to be on at set piece. We've got to be um, move, moving them and manoeuvring them around the field um, well. And we've got to be defensively really on because, like I said earlier, we've, they've got players that can really, really hurt if given um, given the opportunity. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're focused on well, nailing our captain's run today and the final bits of detail and um, rolling up to Murrayfield tomorrow. Uh, for, for a long time, you know, Scotland were kind of probably one of the easier... The, the, you know the northern hemisphere decides you know less likely to kind of give you a real 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 challenge is there kind of a, a kind of um you do, do do you see them as more of a, you know more of a threat now than they were five when you, when you first came on the scene i suppose if i ever felt that way it would have been um foolish of me my debut game they knocked us over in um in our backyard in newcastle so um that was back in 2012 so scotland have never had that um I've never had that sentiment towards Scotland. They're, they've been a quality team. They're a team that can really grind you down, um, you know, through really good rugby, um, really good defensive rugby. And then, like I said, again and again, 
they have some real attacking flair and, and you know we've got guys who have played with them coached with them um so there's no hiding that that fact so no there's no no feeling of that for us in uh, in the camp and the last one for me Hamish Watson you're, you're kind of direct opposite number yesterday what what's your experiences of playing against him and what do you have to do to get him oh um yeah, quality number seven, right? Like, um, you know, he's had a great year, um, rewarded with some um, some uh, good performances and, um, you know, selection-wise. So, uh, yeah, I mean, like like every seven in international rugby, real quality. And, um, you know, he's got a presence over the ball, good running game. Um, we've got to, we've got to look to shut him down. That's a team effort. Thank you. Hey, Michael, can I just ask... Um... Does it get easier as a captain now that you've had five straight wins as captain? Does it get easier each time you go onto the field to, with your last, you know, address to the team, or do you have to mix it up? Or like, is it an unusual experience? Uh, no, we're focused on the game at hand. If, if the other stuff's creeping in, um, I don't think that would be a good thing. So, look, it's. I mean, there's um, focusing on the game. The the stuff that's happened's happened. It's gone. Um, they can only control what's uh, what's coming up and right in front of us, so it's probably the same. Uh, Michael, um, just obviously, it's lots of good things happening in Wallaby Land at the moment. How important now is it to finish the year really well and just keep building on on that momentum? You know, how much does this mean to you guys to get over there and do it on the road in Europe and 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 perform in those conditions now? Yeah, it's an exciting challenge for us. Um, we've been really keen. Um, to get up here for a, for a lot of reasons. But, um, you know, one of the great little benefits of being up here is um, the majority of our team hasn't played and experienced uh, European rugby, um, European crowds um, and that sort of thing. And that's a, that's a great challenge and a great um, reason to be a part of, um, you know, the, ga- the ru- um, rugby union as a game um, and a wallaby as well. It's, uh, it's, it's a real perk. So um to get up here and perform is is obviously the goal for us and what we want to do um and that's going you know there's three games ahead of us um you know starting off with tomorrow um being super tough so um we're pumped to get into it um we're right where we want to be does this november these november tests feel more important than ever before um and i say that because it's it's a it is it's kind of a new era with this coaching group and with this um this side as opposed to the czech era um but also the five wins that you've had previously like it, this is a it is it is a different uh feel to it coming into these november tests so phil phil kind of asked the question um in terms of finishing on on a high, is, is there a bit of that sense that this can really continue the momentum? We absolutely want to continue this momentum but, and believe we can. We believe we've got the game to uh, stress our opposition. Um, and if we really execute that, then, um, you know, we'll be in good stead. But, uh, you know, we've got three really tough games and, and opposition that are all trying to, to take away from us playing our best. And, and that's going to, you know, that's our challenge at hand. Um, in terms of re- relating it to other years, I don't think that's, um, you know, that's uh, for us, it's another test match and that is extremely important no matter where that is in the world or, or what time of the year that is. So we get to represent our country and, you know, people that haven't probably seen us play in a long time up here. Um, and that's a, that's a really great thing to, to, um, to be doing this weekend and it's something we talk about, you know, representing our people and um, we get to do it away from home and that's cool. Anything else on footy related? What have you been doing these last couple of days? Have you been getting around the sites? It looks cold. Everyone's wearing beanies and rugged up. What's doing? Yeah, it is cold. Uh, it is a great place to come and travel. Um, you know, just the history and, and everything like that. Yeah, it's it's fresh. And I think it's caught a lot of guys by surprise. Me included. I forgot what it was like up here. So I've packed appropriately. But, um, mate, we're doing we're, a lot of coffees, a lot of, uh, a lot of walking around in masks and... Uh, stuff like that, but not a huge amount. You know, um, we're still under some a bit, a little bit of a, a little bit tight. It's getting tighter and tighter as we get closer to coming home. So, uh, but we're thoroughly enjoying it at the moment. Sorry, guys. Is there anything Michael, else? Michael, just yeah. Michael, just just looking at the run of form recently, the, those two wins against the Springboks. How much how much confidence and belief do you guys take from those? 
it came at a good time for us in the sense that we had just come off the back of three three tough losses against um, the Kiwis. So um, to hit back with two back to back wins, um, you know, uh, yeah, came came really timely, and then and then to continue on with a couple of games there, um, you know, against oppositions that have given us um, trouble in years gone by. Um, yeah, you know, it, it was really pleasing. What's most pleasing for us is is getting closer to executing um, the type of game that we want to play, and we're not uh, we're not there yet. Um, and we've gotten some results. So what that does is creates belief in in the program, belief in you know the way we're training and the way we're playing, and also confidence um, going into each and every game, and and less thinking about results and outcomes, and more thinking about what we can do out on the field. So um, those two games were were pretty timely for us. Matt, good to, good to be back, Matt. Yeah, no, it's awesome. Yeah, it's really good to be back in Edinburgh. Um, apart from a couple of the, these COVID rules, which is it was always a little bit tough to get through, but yeah, it's it's lovely to be back in the city. A lot of the players love coming to Edinburgh, so it's it's been a good couple of days. There's been a lot of chat when we've been speaking to the Scotland squad this week about you know the, the kind of inside knowledge that you and Dave and um, Petrus and whoever you know bring bring to the game. I mean, is is there anything in that, or does rugby move on so quickly and you know different teams, different you know how much how much of that kind of helps you helps you this week? Yeah, I think it does help you. I mean, it probably helps both sides. I'm sure the, the players from Scotland know a lot about us and our coaching, but we certainly know a lot about their traits. I mean, after spending, I think it was 87 tests, I was with Scotland, you kind of know the boys pretty well. And then also, say, my time in Glasgow Warriors. So you know their traits pretty well. So whether or not you can um, expose those um, strengths or weaknesses is, you know, is, is hard to say. But certainly we know each other pretty well. Um, we know... The coaches, Scotland's coaches, pretty well, and, and so do they. So it does make it an interesting contest. I'm trying to remember who it was one of the students squad we spoke to earlier in the week, saying that um, you in particular were up for this game. This was either that you've been kind of on a different <laughs> level. Uh, I mean, is it? Uh, Would you agree with that? You know, is, oh, it's, give you an extra kind of edge that you're... Yeah, listen, to be totally honest, it was exactly the same when I was with Scotland against Australia. You know, you want to get one up against uh, a team that you know a lot about, your coach, you have a, um affinity to, and it's no different now that I'm uh, coaching Australia v Scotland. I, I, I want to win the game. I want our boys to do well. Um, but I'm also actually looking forward to... Uh, catching up with particularly probably the players after the game and, and saying good day because I think that's what coaching is all about. You're there to win and do your best, but at the end, win, lose or draw, you you know the friendships are the thing which will endure and which probably I've enjoyed over the years coaching. So, um, but yeah, no, listen, I'm definitely pretty motivated to win, particularly and uh, when I made the transition to Australia, one of the first things I thought was. Geez, the last time uh, Australia and Scotland came uh, to Murrayfield, it was the biggest ever defeat. So uh, I certainly had that in the back of my mind. And the Scotland defence has um, been getting a lot of praise yep. of, of late. Um, does that kind of motivate you more, or does that you know oh, no, I... to kind of um, you know kind of ruin those stats a wee bit? <laughs> no, listen, the uh, the Scotland's defence has been very good, hasn't it? And. Uh, I think uh, you know Steve's a great guy and a, and a really good coach. And um, I think, as I probably mentioned before, I think there's been a lot of things which have, have probably changed. Has been a bit more of a pragmatic way in which Scotland has has probably played the game. Which certainly, you know, there's defence and there's sorry, there's pure defence and there's things in your game plan which has an effect probably on on the scoreline and, and things. And I think uh, particularly. Um, the way uh, Scotland plays, that surely helped. But um, listen, we 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 feel we've got a pretty good attacking game. Um, our defence has been doing reasonably well as well. So this is going to be a great contest. And um, you know, Pat Murrayfield, as we all know, is a great atmosphere. So it's one I'm looking forward to. I know our boys are really uh, excited about it as well. Thanks, Dad. Nice to see you. Yeah, again. you too, David. Matt, um, you're talking a bit about their Scotland's tactics, and we know that they, um, in the past, have wanted to, to play a bit of rugby, and they probably still do. Do yep. you think that the Wallabies want to play um, more rugby, or do they want to go back to how you guys played against the Springboks a bit more and, and perhaps kick and, yep. and just focus on on maybe not necessarily playing as much rugby as you might have against, say, Japan? Yeah, that's a good question, Christy. I think... Um, 
you know, international rugby for me is getting the balance right. I mean, um, you can't, oh, well, our view is you can't kick the ball all the time and, and not play in rugby and, and vice versa. You can't just run the ball without kicking it. You've got to get that fine balance. And I think both, you'll find both teams out there trying to play that balance. I know, um, I know Scotland certainly try and get that balance. They'll try and play with tempo, but so will we. We'll try and speed the game up in the right areas of the field. But if we need to exit well, we won't be mucking around as well. So I think... You know, you can overplay, um, which is certainly not what we want to do, but at the same time, you've got to take opportunity. So it's how how your momentum's going in that attack and depending where you are on, on the field. Like, you know, we'll, we'll attack from our back half if it's on and if there's momentum, and I think that's what Dave has been very good at. Play when it's on and also um, revert the pressure back on the opposition with our kicking game if it's not on or the ball's starting to stall. So, and I think the best international teams have that good balance. Um, and that's what we'll be attempting to do at Murrayfield. And you, and you know the, the Scottish team, <laughs> like the back of your hand. If if there's two things or two or three things that you'd say um, that yeah you must do, um, where are the threats to, to, that Scotland have to to beat this Wallaby side? Well, listen, I think um, you know with Scotland they want to play with tempo, they want to move the ball around again, particularly more so in in the opposition's half. They've got, uh, you know, if you look at Ali Price, Finn Russell, um, Hoggy, uh, those three guys, 9, 10 and 15, you know, the Spiner team, they, they kind of run it really well. So, um, you know, trying to put some defensive pressure on those guys are important. Um, trying, being alert, we want to play a high tempo game and and things like that, and so does Scotland. So it's, it's just being able to um, match each other's um, intensity um, in defence as well, you know. So both teams, it's important a defensive game for both teams, I would say. But also, you know, the attack we want to go at the opposition. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, Scotland kicked the ball quite a lot as well, so it gives us an opportunity to counter attack at the right times. So we'll certainly be looking to do that as well. Um, and also, like you know, Test match rugby's um, based a lot winning or losing in the forwards. So you know, your set piece is a really important part, whether it's. Uh, a dominant uh, line out and mall defence and also scrummaging and we feel we've got a, a really good forward pack particularly also guys coming off the bench which can really give us some pressure through the through the forwards so um, they're there probably the, some of the areas we'll be looking to to do well in. Uh, Matt you, you obviously you got some changes but how much what's the dynamic of bringing guys into a team that's winning and on a roll when everyone's happy as opposed to a side that's maybe struggling a bit with the perception might be guys have come in to fix something where these guys can come into a, a group that is in a pretty good space. Yeah, the new guys are really um, coming in and slotted in well. Like I think the first couple of days, there was you know a few meetings outside the ordinary ones for those new guys just getting up to plan. But we were certainly, um, you know, by the end of the week, last couple of days, we've been leaving them alone just to take things in. We didn't want to overdo it. I think... Um, Probably over this last period, like the new guys coming in, it's been really refreshing for the group and particularly some of the older guys who haven't been around the squad for a number of years, you know, there's been a lot of excitement when they come in and, you know, you look at the, the calibre of the players which were probably brought in this week, you know, they're, you know, they've, all these players have done really well in Europe, the big name players, they're, um, you know, they're big, particularly in the forwards anyway, they're big boys, they're, um, so everyone's been really excited and, uh, there's been really good transition and we've just been learning the game this week and I think come Saturday they'll be in a really good space in terms of knowing the roles. We wanted them to, you know, you want them to know the roles so they're not having to overthink on the game or during the day because if you're thinking about this, that, whatever, it can slow you down a little bit, doesn't it? So it's just assimilating them and getting their understanding, which they've done really well. And, you know, I've found, um, you know, they're seasoned pros, these guys are coming in. They're not guys who um, are new players. They've been around a long time. They've done well in Europe at a number of different clubs, um, particularly Will. Uh, Rory's, done, you know, done very well with Toulouse. You've got Kirtley, who's, again, um, been in Europe for two different stints at two different clubs. So they've added to the group. And I think that's um, <clears throat> what we've asked them to do. Don't just sit back and... We want you to add to the group and drive the group, and they've certainly done that. So we're excited that they're part of the, this uh, team on the weekend. 